Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be doing a video on updating um, on all of my gear. Uh, what I take to a field, how I take it, all that good stuff. You know, the works. Now, um, basically, I'm going to start off with guns. Guns, gear, to and from the field. Now, this will probably be a long video, so be ready for that. Now, I'm going to start off on my newest gun or my newest project, uh, KWA KM4 uh, SR10, um, yeah, it's the SR10, not the KM4, uh, now this gun, I've done a lot to it, full tour stock, zip tied for battery expansion, little magazine pouch on the back that I put a battery in, um, nothing internal except for a classic army full metal tooth piston uh, beta project emags uh, those are mid caps now this is a replica aimpoint tr1 utg or not utg uh, magpul xtm rail covers random colors and then utg slide ons and then magpul ladder covers, AMP, tactical, um, 5 watt flashlight, very nice, and then a King Arms, uh, King Arms sound amplifier, Tokyo Marui, uh, Desert Warrior, uh, rail removed, no purpose for it because I use a Serpa, uh, magazines, I have about 7 mags for it, now, my DMR, uh, King Arms DMR, uh, completely redone internals, uh, the barrel is a 650mm barrel, I had to add a, uh, flash hider on it, so the barrel comes to about right there, so very long barrel, moving down I have a WE PDW, closed bolt, um, red dot tracer unit the tracer unit is does not have the tracer inside of it due to the fact that the barrel comes to about right here now uh, I'm gonna be getting open bolt and a couple more mags for it I only have two at the moment M4 mags normal M4 mags in total I have about 15 one DMR mag five uh, E mags one P mag high cap and a lot of other mags now this is a uh, Tokyo Marui M1911 MEU carbine kit uh, with the 150% spring set, uh, classic army full stock, or not full stock, uh, crane stock, the plates removed, normal foregrip, AMP tactical combat scope, it's not tightened, and then on here it's an AMP uh, railed red dot. I took that red dot off of here. Now this is KWA MP7 Gem Tech Suppressor Normal Mag Modified Stock so it can go half length XTM rail panels and UTG rail panels iron sights that's about it. Now I'm going to move on to gear. On gear I have uh, 511 Tactical TDU uh, Multicam I have multicam, and then I have um, ABUs, ACUs, and BDUs. Uh, I want to get a crossover into AOR1, but uh, I just got these, and I like these more than AOR1. Um, now, on the sleeves, I have Dust Off Patch, American Flag, then over there I have a Major League Sniper and Kentucky Windage. Um, Hopefully I'll be getting another PVC flag for over there. I have a PVC flag for here. Now, my custom rig is kind of interesting. I have a, one black pouch, a single uh, Velcro for uh, my Thunderbee. Now I'm getting, or I have my uh, uh, knife. It's cold steel replica knife, uh, rubber knife, all that. Um, then I have it on a Grimlock. I'll go into my hydration setup in a second. Then I have dual um, M4 
which will be replacing this. I'll get another one to go over here, um, right here. So I'll have two. So I'll have four mags, or four pouches, so that's a total of eight mags plus one in the gun. And then that will be going in my backpack. Um, three foot zip ties uh, for flex cuffs, and then a pistol mag, a dual pistol so I can hold four pistol mags. Plus one for right here, or a flashlight right here. This is a admin pouch. All of this is Condor. I'm going to be getting into real steel stuff. Now, I have a black Condor one point looped through the, all of the back. Now, on the back, the hydration setup is a hydration tube, which goes into my um, canteen, which I have this canteen setup. I bought this at a surplus store. And then the canteen goes in here, which is on the back of my chest rig, um, which is on the back strap of the chest rig, so I have my canteen always on me. Very interesting um, uh, hydration setup. I'm going to go into that later um, on a different video. Now, on my headgear, um, I have, what are these? Uh, these are, I don't know, I got them at AEX. These are like the Bobster uh, glasses or goggles or whatever. They're nice. Um, they vent really nicely. They don't fog up, even with the Shemog. Uh, then I've got my tactical operator's cap or whatever. Regular guy in the back. American flag. Then uh, mechanics gloves. Love these. Love, love, love these. Um, and then I've got my nice tan Shemog. Now, my holster setup, I have two. Um, this one I prefer. Uh, it's my newer one. Belt to go underneath that. Uh, and I on that, I do have the lower uh, piece folded under on the vest so that um, I, I have space between the vest and my belt. Now, I have my rig on a three-piece setup so that I can... Um, drop apart if I need. Uh, now, I don't really do that much unless I'm on a huge field, um, like, say, Vacaville or, uh, uh, what is that, Air, or LZ, uh, LZ5 or whatever. Um, now, which I might be going to soon. Hopefully I have a contour by then. Um, this is a Blackhawk Serpa. I'm gonna, I have another video that I'm going to be posting on Serpas. This is a normal Serpa on the drop leg rig, which is on the belt. Like, it should be, you know, nice, it's flexible, I love it. Um, then I've got my uh, dump pouch. That's about it for the headgear. Then uh, my other holster is a, um, uh, it's a normal Blackhawk Serpa. I love Serpas. I might be getting a Safari Land or a Kydex soon, so I'm not sure for a normal belt like this one. So I'm going to have that one, and then I'll just have this one as a backup. I have this one whenever I don't want to run this. If it's an indoor field and I, I'm running a lot or something, this is on the paddle mount. And then my knives. I always have a knife on me. This one is in my sleeve, my right or my left sleeve pocket on my multicam combat shirt. This one is just a normal knife that I don't, that I might just have in my uh, range bag. Winchester, Gerber, and then I don't know what this one is, but I have this one on my vest. It's a uh, flip out. It's kind of cool. Uh, you know, just a little trinket knife, uh, flea market, whatever. Um, now, my range bag, I have a range bag. I just have this on it. Um, now I've got a Marine Corps thing sewn in, and then I have a Marine Corps uh, recon patch sewn in, and then I put paracord on the zipper so I can pull it easier. Now in here I just store my Thunderbees. This is transport to a field. I've got my my D flashlight. You guys have seen it before. Very bright. All that. I keep my mags in here. My pistol mags, rifle mags, uh, gas mags. Uh, batteries, there's my 9.6, uh, duct tape, uh, my Thunderbee pins, 
another a 9.6 and 11.1 all that good stuff now moving on to backpacks uh, backpacks I run this backpack if I'm going to a large field uh, very nice condor three-day pack um, you can expand the sides or cinch up the sides and normally have them cinched up so uh, so you have as little space or as much space as you need but everything's locked down I keep bags in there uh, for any situation you know then I have an H harness on a cummerbund belt battle belt H harness is really nice I used to run my hydration off the back of this and I wore this underneath my uh, rig but I don't really like that anymore um, now on the back here I have this uh, um, rip away EMT, which I have my first aid kit, my, uh, extra speed loaders, extra anti-fog, uh, extra gauze, band-aids, all that good stuff. Now, on the side here, I've got a utility pouch, and on the other side, a triple AKA mag pouch. Now, this is really nice if I don't want to run something heavy, and this can be used as the third piece, so this will be, un if I am running a large operation, uh, I could wear that underneath my uh, my chest rig, so I have more mag capacity, so I can carry more mags. More um, uh, if I'm carrying, if I'm being a medic or medic role, or if I have a uh, extra things I need to carry for my team. Now moving on to to and from the field again. Um, this uh, this is my hard gun case. I don't have anything in here currently. But, uh, this is my old gun case. I also have another one of these, a longer one. This is a 36 inch. I want to say 36 inch. And then I have a, um, I have a, another one, which is like a 42, I want to say. A 42 inch. And then I have a pistol one, uh, so that I can store my two pistols if I have my 1911 out of the carbine kit. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Look for more videos coming up shortly because I now have a better camera, uh, which is my tablet camera. So, thanks for watching. I'm out.